Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with a Photoshop tutorial on Tutorial Tuesday. And I know it's kind of strange that I'm making a Photoshop tutorial, but Brandon really wanted to do the After Effects tutorial. So yeah, for his birthday, I let him do it. You're lucky. We're brothers. Anyway, uh, today guys, we are learning how to do this effect right here. This super sexy X Pro look from Instagram. I mean, you guys loved the last Instagram tutorial I did. So when Brandon said, dude, do the Photoshop tutorial this week, this is what came to mind. So the whole reason for this picture is because I made a new Twitch account because Brandon and I have been live streaming a lot on our gaming channel and everyone wanted us to go on to Twitch. So I made this for the profile picture. My girlfriend took the picture. It's pretty awesome. I think she did a great job. And uh, yeah, I, f I found this to be a great opportunity to teach you guys how to do the X Pro presets. So if you guys want to you know, follow me on Twitch or something like that, I'm going to be live streaming tonight. So yeah, go check me out, uh, go comment. I can comment to you guys and you know give a live commentary and answer your guys' questions. It's, it's a lot more personal. But anyway, I'm not here to pimp that channel. I'm here to teach you guys how to do this. But uh, yeah, I'll be including all of the presets, all of the little things that you guys are going to need, the vignette uh, as a PNG file, also the edge as a PNG file, and the curves adjustment preset at chichacheckit.com slash downloads. Oh, and even the original Eli picture. So, I mean, you guys have everything you need. So, if you guys have Photoshop, go there, download it. It's all free. And, uh, yeah, for all the hard work, why don't you guys leave a like? Because it helps out so much. Seriously. And also, um, don't forget to leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And if I sound kind of weird today, it's because my girlfriend surprised me this morning and she's sitting right beside me and it's so weird when people watch Brandon and I do tutorials, seriously. It's like the weirdest feeling and like I always feel like I'm talking to myself. So when there's someone else in the room and I'm not talking to them, it's just strange. But anyway, <laughs> I guess now we can get to the tutorial. So let's open up Photoshop. Just click it. I mean, that's part of the tutorial, I guess. Right click. Oh, no, no, no. Left click on the Photoshop icon. It will open. Okay, so now let's just go find uh, whatever picture you guys want to use. I'm using the Eli picture and let's just click and drag it into this huge blank canvas area. All right, and it will just open up and uh, yeah, it, it looks very boring right now. So let's fix that. Let's uh, double click over here on this little lock right here to open up the layer. Oh yeah, I forgot in uh, Photoshop CC, it's just one click. That's one of the many upgrades they did. But anyway, let's double click on the layer zero here and just rename it because uh, we're very organized at to check it. So let's hit E-L-I because that's my name. So this tutorial is pretty easy. All it really is is you go down to this half circle and you go up to curves and it will create a new curves adjustment. Here's the catch. All right. There are a lot of little tiny things you need to pay attention or else it will end up looking like crap. So let's go to the top of this bottom square right here. And let's just click and drag it down. We're just making a very basic S curve. Right here, we're going to click and drag up. You guys can always preview what you're doing right here by clicking this eyeball. You see that? Turns it off and on. We can do a little better than that. There we go. So now let's go up to the RGB layer. Let's click on it and go down to the reds. So for the reds, we're going to do pretty much the same exact thing, but we're going to do a little bit more of a dramatic drop in the darks. And then we're just going to barely go right above the light like these are the highlights up here and these are the dark so it's a way more dramatic s curve so just make sure that you pay attention and you don't go too high on the reds because you don't want too many reds in this so next is the greens we're going to drop it down just as far as the last one and you're noticing that we're already getting that kind of purple look we want to just follow it up and then when we get to the top we just want to match it up so it turns perfectly straight you see that so we're not going above we're not going below it just drops the greens in the dark area all right, now let's go down to the blues. And the blues is where things get kind of tricky. So we want to click on the already planted point down here and we want to just drag it up so we're getting more blues in the darks. Next, we're going to even that out so then it starts going straight again on that S curve. You see that? All right, next, we want to create another point and we just want to drag it down right about here and we can always adjust this later. But why I did that is because the next and final adjustment is the top of the S-curve and we want to just drag that all the way down to right about here. And what this is doing, it's cranking down the whites and turning them yellow. So we want to just drop that to right about uh, the top of the second square right here. And now if we drag this part down, it turns our image 
as a whole more yellow. So uh, since I'm kind of a brown guy, uh, I'm not Mexican, but I am Spanish. So <laughs> we want to bring back some of those yellows or else we're just getting a very blown out white face up here. And uh, that, that's why I'm saying you guys got to pay attention. And it's also all depends on the image that you're using. I mean, these exact settings won't work every time. But now that you guys know how to tweak them, you can uh, save a lot of time by just clicking the preset that I'm going to teach you guys how to make. So anyway, let's drag this down some more so we're getting more of those yellows all around. And that looks pretty epic. I mean, that, that looks almost identical to what we want. So now uh, let's just say that you accidentally click off. Of the curves adjustment Eli how do you get to that well I'm gonna tell you if you want to get back to the curves adjustment you remember that half circle that we clicked on before it's also beside the curves adjustment so if we double click on that it will bring it up and you can also see all the adjustments that we've made so if, let's say that you uh, save this and you want to do a quick adjustment look at that they're already all done with this preset so anyway if you want to save this preset you need to go up to this button right here I, I don't know how to explain that but just follow the mouse it's right there and we want to go down to save curves preset and I already have one saved right here X Pro 2 that's the name of the effect in Instagram so I'm actually just gonna do this uh, V2 there we go save and now you guys have two presets to load so yeah pretty easy overall but next what we want to do is we want to create a vignette so to do that we want to hit control or command shift N to create a new layer and let's just call this Viggy all right I'm gonna hit OK and uh, making sure that our foreground color is white and our background color is black we're gonna fill Viggy by hitting control or command backspace all right and now here's something that uh, a lot of people don't do when they're making vignettes make sure that you turn off the layer and we're gonna make a custom vignette so let's go down to the lasso tool right here you can also just hit L but uh, this will change for every image, but uh, we're just going to draw in our vignette. So let's say that uh, I want to start kind of wide because the shoulders aren't important. So I want the focus to be in the center. So, But I also want that Xbox controller to be kind of in focus. So I'm going to go low there. Then I'm going to cut in. And we don't need a lot of this background showing. So I'm going to cut out a lot of that. Then I want my hair and stuff to be showing. So I'm going to you know, kind of go back reveal a lot there boom and then let go right before you get there and it will make it perfect all right pretty cool huh? so next what we want to do is we want to turn back on our Viggy layer then we want to hit control or command X and that will cut out the middle and uh, now you guys are done uh, thanks for watching <laughs> I'm just kidding this looks like complete crap what we want to do is we want to blur these edges now because that is way too harsh so let's go to filter blur and we're gonna go down to Gaussian blur and uh, make it however you want but I'm gonna just set mine to what I had it before let's actually make this easier let's go 565 that sounds pretty cool to me hit OK and uh, the last thing we want to do is oh, oh, of course let it you know render out there and uh, let's set it to soft light and let's actually lower the opacity a bit and there you go that looks pretty awesome <laughs> So the last thing we want to do is we want to create those edges that uh, Instagram puts on the X Pro effect. So let's go down to here to create a new layer or you can do that command that we learned earlier. Control or command shift N and let's just call this edge. Hit OK and let's do the same thing we did before. Control or command backspace to fill that layer. And now we're going to go down to the marquee tool and we want the elliptical marquee tool. So let's just uh, click and hold on that and go down and let go on the elliptical marque tool. Okay, I've said that a lot. Anyway, let's go to the middle of this image. Let's click and then hold Alt. And let's just drag straight up. And the key to this is not making it too crazy wide. We don't want so much of a, of a huge circle. We want a pretty thin one. So let's go right about there. It looks really good to me. Right uh, there. There. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> now let's click on the edge here and drag it to the edge there we go and uh, make it however however you really want I'm gonna do it right about there and now we're gonna hit control or command X to delete that then we wanna go and click and hold and grab our rectangular marquee tool and then we're just gonna delete that by well 
Let's do that again. There we go. <laughs> By hitting Control or Command X. And that'll just delete all that other image. That's the only reason why I did that. You guys can erase that however you guys see fit, but I always find that to be pretty fast. All right, now let's duplicate this layer by clicking and dragging down to the Create a New Layer icon. And now let's hit Control or Command T. Let's right click on the, the layer right here. And we're going to go down to Flip Horizontally. And that will just uh, flip it to the other side. And we're going to click and drag while holding Shift so that it locks onto the other side perfectly reverse. There we go. Now let's click and drag down again. Hit Control or Command T. Rotate this while holding shift so it goes perfectly 90 degrees. Now let's click and drag straight up while holding shift. Whoa, that's going weird. Never mind. Just click and drag up till it locks. There we go. And now let's just click on the edge and uh, click and hold that nice uh, alt button. And let's get this by eye. There we go. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys. I'm just trying to get this center, but there we go. All right, right about there is perfect. There we go. Now hit the check, and we're going to duplicate it one more time. Hit Control or Command T. Right click it. This time we're going to flip vertically. Drag that to the bottom while holding Shift. And now it will lock into place. And look at that. Now we have a nice edge that looks exactly like Instagrams, or at least pretty close. Now let's click on the bottom edge. Hold Shift. Click on the top. And let's right click and go to Merge Layers. And then let's double click on this just just so it's nice and clean we'll just call it edge there we go and now you can uh, tweak this to your heart's desire let's uh, click and drag while holding shift uh, maybe hold alt there drag up and we don't want too much of it showing there we go that looks pretty freaking awesome so uh, yeah i'll include all these files at to just check it.com slash downloads but besides that you guys we are now done so thanks so much for watching I hope you guys learned something today, even if uh, you didn't want to learn how to do the X-Pro preset. Uh, maybe you guys learned something about, uh, you know, the curves adjustment layer in general, or how to create a new type of vignette. Uh, but anyway, guys, make sure you leave a like, and uh, with that, guys, I hope that you guys uh, leave a comment, because I love hearing from you, and look forward to the tutorial that Brandon's going to be making here on Friday. I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to watch it. And I'm probably going to like it and leave a comment. So uh, you guys should do the same. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Peace. <laughs>